Hello and welcome in. Mark here, aka the Markster. This is video number 67 in the FreeCAD series. Well, it's time for me to update FreeCAD. Let me show you which version I'm using right now. This is 0 0.19.20477. And this one was released on April 7th, which is 19 days ago based on the time of, of this recording. So it's time to update, past time. So I thought I would make a video showing how to do that. I had a question about this in one of the comments on one of the videos. So that's kind of the reason for this. <clears throat> I think I covered this in video number one, but I'm not absolutely sure. So the first thing we do is we'll go to the freecadweb.org main website and you can click downloads here or download now here either one now the current stable version is 0 0.18.4 and you see this these banners and it's a little bit misleading because most most people are just going to stop right here and select one and download install it and go on about their business without realizing that if you keep scrolling down you'll see a link to a 0 0.19 development version so um, this is something that needs to be corrected in my opinion we should have a link up here that brings you to the 0 0.19 page right up here on the top because people are going to see this and not realize that there's more to see if you keep scrolling down so you scroll down and you see development versions and click here on the free cat releases page this brings you to github.com the free cat releases section And if you come down to 0 0.19 pre-release section, you'll see an assets tab. Now this might be collapsed or it might be expanded for you. So if it's collapsed, you need to click it to expand it to see these files. So if you're using the app image, on Linux this is the file for you you would download this file you would mark it executable something like a chmod space plus x space in the name of this file enter that would do it or you might have to do it as the root there's also a zsync file I have not used this but this is a way to update the app image but I don't know the exact procedure on that the DMG is for the Macintosh you install that like you normally would any DMG file this file here is a text file containing the CHA256 hash code you would use that along with a utility that generates the hash on the file you downloaded. Compare the two to make sure you had a good download. And the .7z files are for Windows. These are 7-zip files, meaning you use the 7-zip utility to extract them. If you don't have 7-zip uh, installed, you'll need to install that. So go to 7, that's the number 7, hyphen zip.org, and you can download it there. So we have, <clears throat> we have two 7-z files, plus up here another 7-z file. This is a libs file. This contains uh, the libraries that you would need if you were going to compile FreeCAD from source using Visual Studio. 
So you don't need that unless you're going to compile free CAD from source. Maybe one day I'll do a video on compiling, but it's complicated. And it took me a while to get it configured. So it's hard to remember exactly all the steps that I needed to take to get it to work. So I would have to start with a clean install and go from scratch and just kind of show you how to go about doing that which I'm kind of low to do because I've got everything configured. Perhaps on uh, Linux I could create um, a virtual machine, Linux virtual machine and, and start from scratch there and get it configured to, uh, to compile. That's how I do some of the compilation. I do some coding in FreeCAD once in a while and I do it inside a virtual machine. It's a virtual box Ubuntu virtual machine inside Windows 10 a host operating system. But anyway, that's why you would need this file just for compiling on Windows. So we have the Conda version and we have the Libpack version. These are maintained by two different members of the FreeCAD community. All these files are being compiled by people who are volunteering their time to compile these files and upload them. So nobody's getting making any money on this and, and it's, it's critical the work that they do to provide these files for us because without them <clears throat> you'd only be able to have FreeCAD if you could install, uh, compile it yourself which is a like I said, a difficult process. Uh, once you get it set up, it's easy. But getting it set up, getting all the dependencies, all the libraries, getting the uh, CMake configuration uh, all set up, that's it's a real it's a real challenge. So anyway, we've got the Conda, and we've got the Libpack. I personally prefer the lid pack, but that's only because I was using the Conda in an earlier version, and the version of QT that they were using at that time was uh, was incompatible with my video card or with the driver with the card. So I've been using the lid pack version. So we'll go ahead and, and click on that, and it's going to start downloading down here. I guess I should have done that earlier before I started yapping. But anyway, <clears throat> once that gets installed, uh, downloaded, I'll show you the next steps to take. So Conda, I've used this uh, Conda a little bit, but it really wasn't working for me. It's kind of like a Linux environment running inside Windows. And Conda serves the purpose of a package manager. So in Linux you have a package manager. Once you get all the FreeCAD dependencies installed, the package manager will keep them updated for you automatically. So APT and the Ubuntu uh, derivatives or in Arch. What do they use in Arch? Can't remember. But each one has its own little package manager. Well, Windows does not have a package manager. You have to manage all that yourself. And that's where the, the libs pack comes in for compiling. And uh, this is what the, the user who is compiling on Windows using Conda, that's what he does. He uses Conda to help him manage all these dependencies. And the libpack compiler here is using these libraries, this file. <clears throat> so that's the difference between these two. They're functionally, they should be basically identical. We got 20 something seconds left. 
I'll go ahead and pause the recording and then when it finishes we'll pick back up again. Alright, so now we're finished downloading. Switch back here. I'm going to go ahead and exit this and go ahead and show you how to do the uh, extraction. So I'm going to click here, show in folder. So here's the file. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to choose 7-zip extract files. And I'm just going to tell it E colon backslash. This is another hard drive I have on my computer, drive E. I'm going to put it to the root folder root directory drive E and it's going to create this this folder with this name in it automatically. So here's I don't know why it's not. There it is. It's going to take us through that process. Now there, down here on the bottom I have a link to FreeCAD. I'm going to go to drive E and I'm going to delete this folder. Holding down the shift key and the delete key. So that's the previous version that I was using. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete that without sending it to the recycle bin. But holding down the shift key it tells it don't recycle it. Alright, so now the old version is gone and a new version is here, 20802. But my shortcut is still here. So I'm going to click the shortcut and it's going to tell me I can't find it anymore but it's going to give me the option of browsing. So I'm going to tell it to browse and I'll choose E, double click on that, double click on the bin folder and I prefer um, details by listing and we'll go down to FreeCAD EXE and so that's updating my shortcut. <clears throat> so that's it, I'm done updating FreeCAD. I just needed to download the, the new version, extract it, and change that uh, shortcut. So now you see we're at 20802 subversion. Now if you if you did not have the shortcut already made, let me uh, I'm using uh, this is classic shell it's called I was having trouble with the default start menu that comes with Windows For some reason it just kept locking up I don't know if it was the active tiles or what the problem was but it became very frustrating to have to continuously be fixing that so I downloaded this program, it's called Classic Shell and no problems since then. It works great. So with this installed you can go in to this folder with a free KDXC, right click on it and pin to start Classic Shell. We'll put it up here at the top. Or you can drag it down to here and pin it to the taskbar if you want to do that. So that would be another way too. I could have just deleted this and recreated by dragging it down to here. Alright, a little bit long for what's well, a very simple process but hopefully uh, everybody's going to understand how to go about doing that. Here's a link
to download 7-Zip if you don't have it already. This is the user who is providing the, uh, the lib file. And a couple of users, um, as Grogan, he's the one who's compiling a lot of these. And another user named Lou, L-O-O-O, -O -O, is doing the conda releases. So I want to give credit to those gentlemen for the great work that they're doing serving the community because without them you would have far 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 fewer people able to use FreeCAD because uh, it's just too complicated for everybody to have to configure the system to compile from source. Alright well that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.